tanker trailers haul bulk liquid products. But do you know the difference between tanker trailers? There are chemical tankers, sanitary food grade tankers, compressed gas tankers, refrigerated tankers, <laughs> heated tankers, and even dry bulk goods tankers. Later in the video, I will talk about a great tanker release from DCP and the company on the door. Also, subscribe to my channel as I have more videos coming on specialized tanker trailers that you won't want to miss. But now, go on and smash that like button so we can talk about tanker trailers. Guys, I'm sure you've all seen tanker trailers on the highways or at your local gas station. They are easily recognizable with their unique cylindrical shaped tank mounted on rear axles and a kingpin under the front. Typically, tankers do not have frames as the tank itself is strong enough to hold the trailer together. There are also truck frame mounted tankers for smaller loads such as propane or fuel oil for home heating delivery trucks. I'm going to talk about tanker trailers but the same ones are also available in truck frame mounted tanks. There are three main types of liquid tanker trailers on the highways today. First up is the chemical tanker. These are the workhorses of the bulk liquid chemical transportation industry. They are sometimes called stainless steel tankers, bulk SS tankers, or DOT 407 tankers. The tank is designed to move chemicals, some corrosive materials, and flammable products. This type of tanker is the equipment of choice for hazmat carriers. On the screen is a cutout picture of a chemical tanker with baffles to show how the load doesn't sloss around too much. Chemical tankers are constructed with compartments, bulkheads, or baffles to keep liquid surge down. This makes hauling a chemical tanker safer. Chemical tankers are hard to distinguish from food grade tankers, but most chemical tankers have one ladder on the curb side in the middle, while food grade tankers typically have two ladders, one on each side in the middle. Food grade tankers are next. They are often called sanitary tankers. These tanks are designed to transport food products, as the name suggests. Regulations on the transport of food are very, very strict to eliminate contamination of the product. On the screen is a cutout picture of a food grade tanker to show the inside of the tank is smooth. Most of these tankers do not have baffles inside as the baffles make it too hard to clean. This makes food grade tankers very susceptible to liquid surge and hard for the driver to control. Special note here, stainless steel chemical tankers can be used for food grade products if they have a special food grade wash prior to loading. Although many shippers have specifications to only use sanitary stainless steel tankers. The last type of common liquid tanker is the hot products tanker. These tanks are sometimes called non-code tankers or asphalt tankers. They are designed to withstand high temperature products and often have a heating device in them to maintain the high temperature. On the screen is a cutout picture of a hot products tanker to show that it is a smooth interior with a heating element. Most likely you have seen a hot products tanker hauling asphalt as they typically have a unique black painted band around the middle of the tank. Now, let's head on down to the rock quarry and talk about a compressed gas tanker model. 
after the review, I will talk a little about Davenport Energy, the name on the model's door. And here we go, guys. This is the Kenworth W900 day cab pulling a Mississippi tanker, pressure tanker, hauling propane for Davenport Energy. It's a 164 scale die cast replica truck made by DCP by First Gear. Its item number is 60-1135. And here it is out of the box. That beautiful day cab in white with the Davenport Energy logo on the door and the fancy Davenport Energy graphics all down the side of that trailer. This was a dealer exclusive, so it was a co-op run for Davenport Energy, and us dealers got a few of them to sell. And I still got one or two left. You can get them with the link down below. Also, if you want to learn more about propane, see my video on propane that I did and the Accord transportation trucks. There's a link in the description below. The cab is the Kenworth W900L model. They've got it set up as a day cab with chrome steps, chrome tanks, chrome stacks, chrome mirrors, chrome breathers, chrome bumpers, quarter fenders, chrome visor, chrome air horns. Uh, being a company truck, there is a picture of this, and the real truck is this plane, just a plain Jane truck. It's nice. The graphics are fancy on the trailer, but it isn't, you know, the big fancy show parts and all that. It's just a stock truck. Underneath, you have your air brake canisters, drive shafts, bottom of the engine detail, etc., and it has positionable steering, not true steering, it just clicks in place. On the front, Kenworth logo on the above the grill, chrome grill with black painted in it, individual jewel style headlights. It also has the box style turn signals right there on the fenders, one on each side. They're chrome pieces, and then they put a little tampo of orange to make it look like they are amber lenses. Windshield wipers are molded into the windshield and then tampoed in black and the windshield is hard ABS plastic and it actually has a back window you can see my finger through it chrome visor chrome mirrors all the fancy stuff that you'd expect to find on a DCP also up on top the five roof clearance lights are molded into the cab and then they are tampoed silver with a little orange for the amber lenses over on the passenger side 10 hole chrome wheels soft rubber tires uh, toolbox it has fuel tanks and steps that are chrome. W9s also have the little window low down in the door so the driver can see what's beside them. Kind of makes it hard to put the graphics on the passenger's door. That's why it looks a little different from the driver's door. Also, there's door latches on both doors and they're tampoed in black and silver. On to the back, Davenport Energy mud flaps back there brake lights, tampoed, and backup lights. Kingpin fifth wheel for DCP first gear trailers, and it has the airlines hanging on a pogo stick right up behind the cab, and diamond plate deck plate. Now let's set this aside and talk about the trailer. The trailer is their Mississippi tanker, which is a pressure tanker. It's for compressed gases. This one is carrying 1075, so it is for propane and Davenport Energy delivers lots of propane, so they actually have this real truck. And I showed a picture of it. It has the marker lights on the side, screw down landing gear, the valves underneath, a hose line there, soft rubber tires on 10 hole chrome wheels, fenders on the rear and fenders on the front. They're painted silver. They're not chrome plated, they're painted silver to mimic the aluminum that's on the real ones. Looks really nice. There's also mud flaps that have Davenport Energy hanging on the front fenders and Davenport Energy logo mud flaps on the rear fenders. To the back here, it has its bumper with DOT striping on it. The This vehicle stops all railroad crossing sign on there, which is a federal law on propane haulers and fuel haulers. Brake lights are tampoed, hazmat placard of 1075 flammable there. Propane written underneath it, Davenport Energy written on the back, and then the big clean-out opening for with lots of bolts to bolt on like all pressure tanks have. Above that, you see the three required DOT upper lights, and they're on an individual piece that's stuck on top. It's painted silver and then tampos of red for the lights. There's also 
a fire extinguisher right there on the back. You can see it. Great thing to have on these. On this side, you can see the crank down handle for the landing gear, and you can also see the valve connections to unload the tank. Really nice trailer. The front simply has the hazmat placard and your airline and electric line hookups. Underneath, you can see the bottom of the fenders with nice detail. It has information about Mississippi Tanker and Diecast Promotions. This was made when it was Diecast Promotions. Working rear suspension, air brake canisters on the axles, and soft rubber tires on the 10-hole chrome wheels. Overall, they did a super nice job on this truck. Now let's set them all up together so you can see it all together. And that is the Kenworth W900 Day Cab with a Mississippi pressure tanker for compressed gases set up for propane for Davenport Energy. A co-op release for the company and a few for us dealers, making this a pretty hard model to get. So don't delay and get one right now before they're all sold out. Once sold out, the link will disappear. Davenport Energy is a company based in Chatham, Virginia. They deliver propane, fuel oil, and other petroleum products to more than 30,000 customers. These customers are spread throughout Southern, Southwest, and Central Virginia, along with North Carolina. Davenport Energy also supplies gasoline and diesel fuel to more than 200 convenience stores throughout the region. Davenport Energy was founded in 1941 by Ben J. Davenport Sr. as Chatham Oil. Over the years, Chatham Oil grew due to Mr. Davenport's customer-first approach to business. After many years of growth, expansion, and acquisitions, Chatham Oil changed its name to Davenport Energy in 2003. The new name reflects the company's regional footprint and pays tribute to the founder, Ben J. Davenport Sr. Today, more than 75 years later, Ben Davenport Jr. runs the company with the same customer-first approach his father had. He can do this as the company is still a family-owned and operated business. That's the way business should be run. I do happen to have a few of these Davenport Energy trucks available still, and you can get one with the link down below. But they were sold out as a dealer exclusive before they were even made, so don't delay and order now. Once they are gone, the link will disappear forever. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like button, share this video with your followers, and subscribe to my channel. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon.